Dear students, today uh, we are going to do the second chapter uh, of class 6. So before I tell you the name of the chapter, let us recollect some facts which you already know. You know, um, if I ask you that, if I give you a few um, pencils and I ask you how many pencils are there, uh, you will be able to count them, 1, 2, 3, 4 and you will continue like that. If I bring few toffees for you and I give it to you, uh, you will be able to count it. Right? And then you will know how many toffees are there. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in both the examples, what are you doing? You are counting. And you are counting starting from which number? You are starting from 1. So, my first point is, that is, these are what numbers which you have used for counting your toffees and your pencils. Those are known as natural numbers. So, counting numbers is that is one two three it can it will dot dot means it will keep on going to infinity these numbers are called natural numbers and this set so why am i calling it set because this is a group of numbers so this set of numbers this set of natural numbers is denoted by the capital alphabet N. Now, suppose I don't give any uh, pencil to your sister and I give you five pencils. So what will you say? You will say that your sister did not get any pencils. But mathematically, if I ask you to denote it, then what will you do? Nothing means she did not get any pencil. So if I ask you to count, what will you say? So nothing. She doesn't have any pencil. To represent that, we have a digit which we call as zero. So the set of natural numbers along with zero together give us whole numbers. Zero along with natural numbers gives us the set of whole numbers. And how do we denote this set of numbers? It is denoted by the capital alphabet W. So what chapter are we doing students? You must have understood now. We are going to do the chapter whole numbers. And these notes you need to write it down in your notebook. Now, next thing, if I say, uh, which number comes after 4? You all know, right? And what will you say, ma'am, after 4, 5 comes. If I say, which number comes after 99? You will say 100. So, what is this you are telling me? This is called as successor. So, successor of a number... How do we get successor of a number? Successor of a number we get by adding 1 to a given number. Right? So, you can write your own example here. Like successor of 78 is, is 79 and so on. Next is, if I say what comes before 7, so what comes before 7? 6, right? So, what is this? This is called as the predecessor. So, when we subtract 1 from a given number, from a given number, we get the predecessor of the number, right? The predecessor of a number. You, now you have to write your own example here. I won't write down. So if I say what is the predecessor of 100? So 100 minus 1. So 99 is the predecessor. Now tell me what uh, the natural number. Now please understand what question I am asking. What is the successor of 2? 3. What is the predecessor of 2? 1. Now, if I specifically say 
what is the successor of natural number one? You will say two. What is the predecessor of natural number one? Zero? Wrong. Because my, my question was very specific. I said what is the predecessor of natural number one? So natural number starts from one, two, three. We have already written here. So it cannot have a predecessor. But if my question goes like this, what is the predecessor of whole number one? So you will say zero, right? Now, if I ask you, what is the successor of zero? Successor of zero is one. What is the predecessor of whole number zero? Now, whole number, since it starts from zero, it does not have a predecessor. I hope I am clear everybody. Now, this numbers has got a place on the number line. So, number line in your primary class, you have learned how to plot number uh, line and plot natural numbers on the number line. Now, number line, all numbers, as you go and learn more topics, you will see that every number has got a place on the number line. So, how do we place the natural numbers on the number line? Now, for number line, you have to be very specific. That is, we take unique distance between consecutive numbers. Now, what are consecutive numbers? Numbers which comes one after another are called as consecutive numbers. So, um, and what did I say? Unique distance. Unique distance does not mean it has to be one centimeter or one millimeter or one meter. Unique distance means that the gap between consecutive numbers should be same. So how do we uh, draw the number line for whole numbers? You see here, now here I have drawn a dot and this is zero because whole number starts from zero. So it's, I'm starting from zero and then unique distance, equal distance I'll take and like this I'll keep on going. And here you see I have given the sign of arrow. Why? Because it means this is going on till infinity. Now can have you observed something? As we are moving to the right, our values are increasing. And as we move towards the left, the value keeps on decreasing. So with the help of number line, you can do addition. You can do subtraction, you can do multiplication. Like suppose if I say how much is 1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2 is from 0, you will go to 1. Because uh, from somewhere we need to start, isn't it? So from nothing we are starting and we reached 1. So 1 plus 2 is, where did we reach? We reached 3. Similarly, if I say how much is 3 minus 1 from 3, if I give 1. So I am here at 3. Right, and from 0 I'll go to 3 and from there I'll give away 1. So how many, where will I reach? I'll reach to 2. Then similarly we can do multiplication also on number line. Now how do we do multiplication? All of you know, you must have learnt in your primary class that multiplication is nothing but repeated addition, isn't it? So if I say how much is um, 3 into 2, that means... Uh, 2 has to move 3 times. So 1 time, 2 time and I can continue here 5 and 3 times. So where did we reach? 6. So we can do multiply also on the number line. I hope I am clear with this topic. So this much is for your module 1. So you need to write down this uh, 4 points and this is just an explanation and you will do exercise 2.1 of your NCRT book. But the questions are very simple. Next module I will start by discussing by starting with the discussion of true false because I want to um, see that whether everyone each one of you have understood the meaning of the questions or not. So we will start with the true false in my next module. And students, you exercise 2.1, the first few questions are very simple. Like the first question is um, write the next three numbers after some numbers are there. So if I change the question and I say write the next three numbers coming after 10. So what will you write? 11, 12, 13, right? Then, then if I say write the next 
uh, uh, write the three numbers which comes before 10 then what will you write 987 isn't it which is the smallest whole number which number lies to the right and which number lies to the left so these are basically the questions which you will see in your book now one question i need to discuss with you i, uh, I think it's question number four or five that is how many number lies between 32 and 53 i think the question is that now i'll not take up that question let me rechange the question and let us write down how many number lies between 12 and 20 so what will you do will you start counting 13 14 15 16 no we don't do this in maths so what will you do you will do from 20 i'll give away 12 so how much remains 8 so between 12 and 20 do we have 8 numbers no why no because you see between means you cannot include 12 also and you cannot include 20 also so 12 you are subtracting so 12 is going away but 20 is here so to remove that i need to subtract another one and my answer is seven so seven number lies between 12 and 20. i hope i am clear so you please finish the exercise 2.1 thank you